Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a beautiful day so far. Today I've got a lot to share with you. We are jam-packed full of projects today. I've got some new decor to share with you. We're gonna be painting, giving you some updates. Um, if you happen to miss my last video, definitely go check that out because we opened up a can of worms and started a huge project and things are moving very well. I'm loving it and it's been a lot, let me tell you. Um, but I'm really excited to show you a couple new pieces of decor that I found on Walmart and I'm really excited to be partnering with them you guys know that i love to shop on walmart.com and they just have so many beautiful pieces and their home decor has been getting really good lately and you guys are going to want these so i've got a couple things to share with you i'm just blown away with how beautiful they are so the first thing i got is actually a side table and table it is beautiful i actually got it to replace the existing one i have in my living room i wanted to kind of change up the feel a little bit this uh, end table actually has cane detail on it that's very popular right now and let me tell you it is gorgeous the color of it is beautiful and i actually got the dark stain with the light cane detail for the side table but it actually comes in all light oak if you want that look as well and it also comes in a coffee table style and size for you so if you love this table you can grab both of them they will pair very nicely together it is beautiful it takes a took me about 25 minutes to put together not bad at all just a couple screws um, and everything and i'm done i'm very happy with the quality of it it is gorgeous so happy with it so i'm going to remove this end table that i currently have here and we're going to put this beautiful table there and i am so happy with it i like the contrast with the cane and the dark stain of the table especially with my white walls and my light chairs i think it pairs so beautifully i think it's beautiful if you haven't shopped on walmart.com lately you really need to they have some beautiful home decor pieces that better homes and garden brought out some beautiful new pieces and i actually grabbed this dining bench which i'm not going to use it as a dining bench i'm at the end of a bed very versatile but it is super simple to put together dark stain again but it also comes in a light version as well it took me less than 10 minutes to put together because it was just attaching the four legs and then the crossbar to keep everything stable it is so beautiful i like that it comes with an upholstered top that you can easily remove because it has velcro on it um, i like that and it also the cover um, has a zipper so you can easily wash it or you can take it off if you have messes and stuff it's just really beautiful and it comes in a light color. I'm actually putting it here underneath my console table. I like that it contrasts with my oak table. And then something new to me I actually found on Walmart is this pillow. I haven't bought anything from this designer yet and I really like this pillow. Many different beautiful collections on Walmart, so definitely be sure to check them out. I'll actually leave a couple of design boards here of items that I found on Walmart that are just absolutely gorgeous. They're really affordable and stylish so you cannot go wrong with it and of course i'll have all these items linked down below for you in the description box so that you can grab them and i'll also pin them in the comments for you just to make it easier but I think these pieces are so pretty. I'm so, so happy with them. I've actually had this item for a few months now, but it's the Ice Cream Maker by Drew Barrymore from the Beautiful line that is out at Walmart right now. She's got a whole collection, it's gorgeous. Um, but I actually got the ice cream maker and it works so well. It can make gelato and sorbet for you as well as ice cream, really quick and easy and it does such a good job. I love it. It's convenient because I can just make a normal base and then I can add ins on it. It tells you when it's done. It's just simple, easy, and it's perfect for summertime. We have been enjoying it so much. We've been using it from May all the way till now. So it's definitely got some good use out of it and it's going strong. So I highly recommend you get that. It's really affordable too. So definitely be sure to check the links in the description box um, below, but we are gonna actually get kind of messy now and start working on the prog um, project that I have going on in the house and update you guys on what's kind of going on. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. But yeah, let's get into it. This is where we left off the other day. And so electrical was moved and then I used cardboard as a template since I didn't cut this original area as an arch because I thought I was going to do it squared off. But um, kind of drew up two different lines, got that down, cut it, 
and this is after taping it on kind of the way we wanted. I want to be able to walk through here without hitting my head, but also have a really pretty archway um, that will look proportional for the space. So a little bit tricky. And then, like I told you, I cut it three inches too much, so um, bumped that out so I'd be able to put the drywall there. All right, now the fun begins. Uh, the walls, uh, beams were taken out, so now you can clearly see the spaces and it look way different. Uh, really weird looking. So got some half inch plywood and cut out those arch templates that we made there. You can kind of see, um, got a lot of stuff in the house right now. So um, built um, an L shape for that to attach to and then you put the other side on top of that kind of keep it really simple and then that way it's not too wide because um, the drywall has to fit over this so now that the shape is there on both sides just attach those then for bracing and everything else to attach stuff to and I uh, used um, cut it down to almost like a two by three a little bit bigger than that though and framed the outer portion of it you can kind of see it there so there's something for it to attach to then um we have like one and an eighth inch um veneer it's so thin but it's bendable uh, i haven't never seen this before but i've only seen a fourth of an inch so then we used what is it called um the foam stuff to fill in it also act as a glue and then we stapled that all on there can you see that now how it's smooth next came the drywall this is actually something that i hired out because um yeah, I can do a little bit of drywall, but corners and everything I did not want to do myself. So, um, yeah, it was a little bit hard to stand back and not do it. But at the same time, I learned a ton. So this is the way it's looking and it looks so good already. It's not even mudded yet. So basically here, um, the way he got this to bend is uh, he'd cut the strip that goes in between the two outer walls and then he would push that up towards the ceiling as I thought I asked I was like are we gonna slice that and he's like no you want it to naturally break so he pushes it up and you can see where it naturally broke on the wall then he attached it there and then just slowly started working the way down and it would slowly bend and snap and then he would just screw it into the wood that we had there so um, it's really interesting I'm learning a ton and that's great um, so you guys know I've done drywall before but this is a lot and I want it to look really good Ta -da! it looks so good I was not expecting arches to give such an impact to this room but it looks so much bigger and we only moved it out 22 inches on each side, which is crazy. And that's actually quite a bit of space. It's almost four feet. So yeah, that's gonna make it look larger, but really, I am, I'm really shocked actually. Like this looks so good. And yeah, the mudding's gonna start here soon. Um, I'm gonna learn as he does it too, because like I said, I haven't done corners and things like that. Like I've done other types of drywall repair and things like that, but this is a huge job. and. I didn't really want to, I don't want to mess this up. I want to look, woo -hoo. So um, I'm happy to um, hire a professional and learn at the same time. So excited for that, but look at this. I can't wait to show you what I'm going to be doing inside the space. It's going to be awesome. Ah, I'm so excited. So it's going to take me a little bit, but yeah, I'm, I'm really really excited for it so I hope you are enjoying this project I know I am but now I'm gonna take you to another part of the house that we're starting on This wall, I've been telling you <laughs> different times of the year, this wall's changing. Well, it's finally gonna be changing. 
I finally made up my mind what I'm doing with this wall. Um, we're actually going to be tiling it. I'm really excited because it's going to add a lot of character to the space and it's just not going to look so blank. Um, and tile's way cheaper than quartz, so that's why I'm doing that. And I didn't want it to all feel like it's... Um, I wanted a little character to the to the room. So I originally wanted to do like a lime wash or limestone on the walls, but it's a really big project. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go look for some tiles and um, I have some to show with you. So I'm really excited. But I, when I go to install the tile here, I'm not gonna be using mortar for it. Um, that's the traditional way you do it. I'm just not. Um, they make this like double-sided tape uh, basically, it comes in rolls and you roll it on. It's super strong. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but um, you roll it on and then you stick your tiles to that and then you grout if you're going to be using grout afterwards. And a lot of DIYers say it's wonderful. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give that a try. I like trying something new and I think that'll be really good. So yeah, when we get to that point, we're going to be doing that. Um, and this space is going to change a little bit to the look of it as well. So I just have to stay tuned for that, um, but let me show you uh, what I picked out. So I did go to the store and I picked up a couple different tiles. I'm finally going to get around to tiling this. Uh, so I have this one that's kind of like a stone. It's a uh, rough feeling, more of a matte finish or flat I would say. This one's just a regular gloss. This one's much larger and glossy. This is matte, this is glossy, and then these four are actually all the same tile, just two of them are glossy, two are matte. So I'm gonna kinda line them up here. I like the smaller size, but that's a lot of tiles to add to the wall. So the larger size makes it much simpler. I was originally thinking of doing them vertical, but I could always just do the regular, um, is that hair and bone when it's um, staggered running bond is what it's called I think so I'm not sure I mean I could stack them up this way but I don't know if I'd like that or not so I'm trying to see what would look good with the counter and that adds to it this one matches our veining fairly well but I think it's gonna be too much contrast for what I'm looking for I would love to do like a lime wash on this lime wash stone I think it is but um, it's very pricey and I haven't been able to find somebody that carries it. So um, I've seen it in tons of pictures, but yeah. So I thought I was gonna like the matte better, but I actually like the gloss on this one better. I think that this could look really good. Do you see how it plays off the cream in the stone? Because the stone isn't fully white. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that or not. So I kind of like that quite a bit. I thought about this tile here, the squares, but it has clay underneath and it comes off very peachy in person. Um, they also have it in this style here and it's really chunky and even and stuff, but I don't see how you can see it's more peachy and tan. I don't think I like that. So I don't know. I'm leaning towards one of these. I think this one is just too white. It's too stark. Uh, and it depends on the lighting. I've been putting them up different times of the day too to kind of see how they look. Um, I thought I was really gonna go for this one, but I don't know if I like that with that. Um, so yeah, I think my options are, well, this tile. And I don't know, I'm gonna go to another store and see if I can find any, um, but so far, I really like this mix, but I don't know. They just give me samples. I don't know if the whole box comes with just one color or if it's like the Chloe tiles where they come with different variations. I'm okay with a little variation. I just don't want it to be like these two, you know, really drastic. So we'll see. And see the size difference too in the tile? So it's kind of nice. So yeah, I don't know what you guys think. I tried stacking them this way, but they just fell over pretty much on me. I don't know, I mean, that way could work, but it, and so could running bond. I don't know, the vertical's kind of different. I kind of like that. Um, I don't know. 
Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's video, seeing all the new Walmart decor and how I styled it. Remember, all links are in the description box below, so you can pick them up if you like them as well. And all the other items I share with you will all be linked there, as well as in the comments for you. But I am loving the archway progress. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing that come together, and hopefully you're learning as a go as well, because that's what I really want it to be, is helpful to you as well. And the kitchen nook progress, I am really excited to get the tiling underway and get that all together so got a lot of projects here going on but you guys are gonna enjoy and come along with me so if you enjoy it give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and until next time I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next one